as Connie Gibbons says, it's been actually over 80 years now that Rita Blit has been working as an artist. And I thought it would be good to go back now to the beginning and talk about your early years as an artist, Rita. Let's start out with a question about what was your, what are your most memorable childhood experiences and memories creating art? I think the earliest memory is that of my grandfather sending little black line drawings at the bottom of his letters from New York. He designed embroidery. And when he sent those little drawings to us, then I echoed those drawings back to him. And I have a feeling that today I'm still echoing his drawings with my black lines. <laughs> and then I see little Rita dancing, tap dancing, and drawing all over the house, <laughs> particularly the frosted windows. That was wonderful. But on every little white piece of segment of paper I could find, I took advantage of the space to draw. So I think I was drawing, echoing his lines most all my life. And then when I went to school, one important memory was my fifth grade teacher who uh, thrilled me with the magic word, create. That word still vibrates within my body when I hear it. How special and how special she was. Um, then in fifth grade also, I won a scholarship to the Kansas City Art Institute for children's classes. And that thrilled me so that I said, maybe someday I could become an artist. 